I'm back. We're alive. I didn't go anywhere. Well, I did. I didn't. Shut up. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Welcome back to another weird, wonderful news for me quiz. Isn't there one there? Why the beautiful girls? If you didn't already know. All oh, that shit. <laughs> This week's headers are, are we being watched? Do a fucking, Chris, give your hands quick. Chris, like the fuckers. Uh, <laughs> is the world ending? Ross and it's gone. Astronomers from the Harvard Smithsonian. Yes! Got it in one! That was the worst <laughs> high five of you. I didn't realise you were giving me a high five. <laughs> <laughs> I found a rock and it's still believed to be the first ever interstellar rock that's not from our space solar system. Solar system. That was it. The scientist people from Harvard <laughs> also believe that it is sent from aliens to look upon life in our solar system. It's weirdly shaped because it's not an asteroid, but it's not a comet. It's some kind of... Obviously, they must have known we were going to, like, study this rock. Because, obviously, it just zoomed into our atmosphere and then it's just, it's just, it's decided just to chill and float. Yeah. It, yeah. It got spotted last year, but it's only just been worked on now because it's... Obviously, more and more information is come about it. So yeah, it's like basically it's shot into our, like I said, it's shot into our solar system at a hell of a lot of miles per hour than it is now. Like I say, it's just slowly cruising, and obviously the most someone out there must have thought, knew we were going to study this rock. Um, so the question is, are we being watched or are we not, or is it just a lonely rock? Or is it going through space? No idea. Is the world ending? Here's with a real dum dum dum. Dum dum dum. Oh, that was so much better. A trio of signs have emerged in the past few months uh, that are all spout in uh, different um, biblical prophecies about the end of the world. Another dum dum dum. Dum dum dum. The coming of the Messiah may be becoming true. Dum dum dum. Oh shit. Oh, right. Okay. Dum dum dum. Occurrence number uno was a red heifer, and it was the first one occurring in 2,000 years. I have more questions about this. I'm not quite sure what a heifer is. A cow. A red cow. South Park did this. South Park did this. Uh, a red cow has emerged, the first one since 2,000 years. Second occurrence is uh, li life forms in a, um, in a Dead Sea sinkhole. We've got Ginger Cow and Lord Cthulhu so far. This is creepy. This is really creepy. Third occurrence is a snake slivered out of uh, Israel's western wall. What the fuck does that mean? Is this the coming of like fucking ah or mmm, 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 mmm. this is weird? You dig for some weird shit. I, you know, I, when we first discussed the news, I was like, film news, Pokemon news. Is there more? Is there more? The red heifer, I'm sorry, this is unprofessional, I need to go for noise because this is fucking weird. Uh, the red heifer, a creature that features in the end times in both the tales of Christianity and Judaism. Holy moly. The second prophecy in Chris's uh, beautifully depicted words here. I will read this out word for word. If you can make sense of it, then well done you. Dead Sea Sinkhole, Hebrew prophets Ezekiel's end of days prophecy foresees the sea a hypersodaline <laughs> environment with reported 337% uh, salinity uh, fl flourishing into life. Flourishing into life. So uh, prophet said 37% life forms flourishing. The fuck is this article? And a snake out of a wall, uh, uh, basically the, the, the prophecy about the Messiah coming will soon be fulfilled. Not to be confused with uh, when you go to a garage and there's, a, there's another snake in the wall. I fell for that trap. Apparently it's called a glory hole. That thing tasted weird. Hey, it's Chris. A mission has been launched in the coast of Japan. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Island, which 
has about 12 letters, no, maybe more, about 20 letters long, which I cannot pronounce, so I won't even going to say it. It's have got you written like, it down? No, I haven't. Oh. It's got like U A A M T Z Y P Z Q, whatever. Xylophone. It. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> An island has disappeared. That was the whole story. An island has sus suddenly disappeared. Come, finito. Vamos. <laughs> This island is one of 158 uninhabited islands that's known, that they've all got weird names that they were given by the government. <laughs> the government. <laughs> Searching is still ongoing, but it is believed it has sank due to high sea levels. I could be a weatherman. High sea levels. <laughs> oh. oh. And a crime story now where in Blackpool a vicious heinous crime of some possible mental guy stealing a crate of beers uh, they, they got their CCTV footage and what it looked like and what it appeared to be was Ross from Friends David Schwimmer had uh, stole these beers but it wasn't it was just somebody that looked like him but um, Ross from Friends David Schwimmer did reply um, but yeah the, the guy who stole it is still alive, hasn't been found, but uh, it wasn't Ross and Friends. But David Schwimmer did reply uh, wearing an identical clothing to the guy in the CCTV footage. Uh, I think it was on a Twitter video or Instagram video of him doing the same thing, saying, Sorry, Blackpool Police, it wasn't me. Which is quite cool, because you would have thought a big celebrity like that would just not acknowledge or do anything. But yes, David Schwimmer, yeah, you are a free man, it wasn't you, it was some crackhead in Blackpool. Time for this week's sports and weather where we are no longer hiring humans, we are hiring the likes of animals because they are less likely to... They're cheaper uh, to die. They're ch mm, that's one way to say it. I don't know if I like it or not because a woman had a puppy in town early and it was really, really cute. Everyone thought it was a baby. It was sleeping in her arms and I just pewed loudly in her face went, ah, like that. <laughs> and she was like, oh, but... Uh, don't want animals to die. No, we don't. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I thought we would hire my good friend Michael the Penguin to show us what it's like in the weather world. And here's a dog playing football. <laughs> Sports! Yeah! Whatever! Fuck you! The weather! Now it's time for my heartwarming story this week, and this week it is about Todd, the uh, golden retriever. A dance, happy, ending. Todd is a six-month-old golden retriever who has received Dog of the Year. Well done, Toby. The reason why he got Dog of the Year is because he was on a lovely little walk with his owner and then all of a sudden a snake came out of the grass. So yes, a snake came out the grass, was going to attack the human, but Todd, good old little Todd, got in between the snake and the human, ended up getting bitten, bless him, but the snake just took off eventually and the woman, the owner of the dog, picked him up, nashed him to the hospital. He was on life support and he was in there for quite a while, but eventually he came out, got all better, and he survived, bless him. So that's why good old Toby got dog of the year. He's not even called Toby. Why am I saying Toby? His name's Todd. Sorry. <laughs> it's because my nana's dog was called Toby. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> but yes. We all need a dog like Todd. I want a dog. A dance, happy, ending. Just for the record, Chris's last story, I noticed it. Whenever he said the human, he so sounded very robot-like. <laughs> the human? I may be <laughs> onto you now, Mr. C3PO. <laughs> Hashtag C3PO. Are you, saying, are you saying keep it quiet? Are you trying to... Are you programming yourself? <laughs> I bet you don't even go to sleep, do you? You go home and plug yourself in and beep bop, beep bop. Just, cool. <laughs> just wait, the human... The human. Are you, I'm suspicious now. But anyway, it's time to <coughs> find not drunken people anymore. No. Drunken animals. Uh, this time it's a drunken cat showing it's its best. <laughs> best. Dear Chris. Look at the. <laughs> people vampire. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god, that was AI Ultron confirmed. Uh, yeah, it's a drunken cat. <laughs> I 
Doing what? It's alright, the clip should have played by I now. I my neck. <laughs> what, doing that? Yeah. We well, shouldn't have done it then, should you? I know. Uh, but yes, uh, thank you, uh, Tabby for the Cat, for displaying your thing. Oh my god, I could have called your fucking dick off. Uh, <laughs> do robots have dicks? That's why you jerk off to Ex Machina in the yep. AI porn. Uh, visual sight for this week's uh, watching the watching this week's edition of the news. TM Pink, one and stink. And uh, keep <laughs> keep on keeping on. <laughs> Love you, bye. Enjoy the outtakes. No. Film time, film time. Oh, you're a bit ahead of me. It's okay, go on. <laughs> Astronomers. <laughs> Astronomers. Outtake. <laughs> Astronomers at the Harvard <laughs> Smithsonian. There we go. I got it. <laughs> Astronomers at the Harvard Miss, Miss Smithsonian. <laughs> Smithsonian. You don't got it. You don't got it. Outtake. This rock. I don't know. It's the. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a. It's okay, Chris. Flies under anyway.